Good morning, folks. Welcome to another week of Riding to Work with Coach Rob. I think we're at week 22. So, had a client meeting yesterday. Went awesome. We talked about pressure language. Um, something we do to ourselves that really, really adds a lot of stress and anxiety to our day. So I want you to think about this statement. Imagine opening your eyes in the morning and not wanting to get out of bed. You're tired, your body's sore, you're heavy. You need to tell yourself it's life or death. My stomach knots up just saying that. Could you imagine starting your day by telling yourself it's life or death? What kind of pressure or anxiety does that add to the first moment of your day, your awakening? I don't even like saying it. Now imagine, now, imagine the same scenario, you're laying in bed, early in the morning, your body's heavy, you're tired, sore, you open your eyes, take a breath, and say, I choose life. It sits different, right? The choice is already made. There's not an end or a negative connotation with it. It sounds opportunistic. It sounds exciting. I choose life. That feels good. That's just a quick example of the pressure that we put on ourselves. I choose health. I choose life. Instead of saying, I've got to lose weight. I've got to lose weight. That, like, it's heavy. You wear it. You feel it. It's like walking around with a vest on. Or, say, I get to lose weight. I get to lose weight. I get to be healthy. You have a chance. There's an opportunity there. I get to work out. I don't have to work out. I have to work out. They don't. I'm one of those people that if you tell me I have to do something, I'm going to question it before I do it. Just because, you know, you know, anti the dictation of what my life is. Like I, I don't take direction well. If you tell me I have to do something, I'm like, eh, I really don't. Even if it's something I should do, I don't have to do it. But you say, hey, you get to work out today. It's like, yeah, I do. Damn straight, I get to work out. Here's one. I need to be a better parent. Do you need to be? No, you can just keep being the parent you are. The pressure. I need, I need to be a better parent. I need this. You're setting yourself up for failure. I need to, and next time you don't go outside and play, or next time you let your kid watch TV just a little too long, or next time you pick up your phone during a conversation, you failed yourself. Because you're not being what you need. Let's take need and change it to get. I get to be a better parent. Now, we're going to take this statement one step further, because this one hits home for me, hits home for a lot of people that have kids. I get to be a present parent.
That sounds great. I get to be a present parent. That sounds so much better than saying better. Doesn't it? It feels better. Presence. This is not what you really mean but being a better parent. Being present. Being there. Being in the same room as somebody does not mean you're there. Especially in today's world with the distractions that we find around us. Phones, videos, social media, you name it. The world is made to distract us. It really is. It's easy. We all do it. Every one of us, including me. I get to be a present parent. Kid asks, you get home, walking in the door, kid asks, Mom, Dad, can you go outside? Just walk through the door, kid, man. He's off it. Say yes. Your phone can wait. The phone call can wait. Dinner? Eh. Can wait 30 minutes. Wait an hour. He'll be there. He's not going anywhere. Go play. Say yes. I'll go play outside. Yes, I'll go throw a ball. Yes, I'll go play with chalk. Yes, we'll have a tea party. And when you're doing those things, be engaged, be involved, be present. So the whole point of today's video isn't about parenting. It's not about working out or fitness or health. It's about getting to do things in life. You get the opportunity to go to work. Now, like, like, I hate my job. Okay, well, you get the opportunity to go to work and earn money to do the things you want to do. There's people out there looking for work. There's people out there that don't have the drive or the education or the surroundings to get to go to work. They have chosen different lifestyles or they've been surrounded with different choices. You get to go to work. You get to bring home a check. You get to earn things. You don't have to work out. You get to work out. You know how exciting that is? To be able to have the time or make the time in a day to go take care of your health you're part of 10% of the population. 90% of the people out there don't do it. They don't take care of themselves. It's almost the fattest country, if not the fattest country in the world. So you get to work out. So even when you don't want to do things, or something comes up, and you feel like you have to or need to, change that word need have need have got must change it to get look at everything you get to do as an opportunity every day all right if you look at life as opportunities it's a hell of a lot more fun. All right? So, I'm pulling into work right now. I get to go to work. I get to work with people all day long. I get to listen to all of you when you come in. I get to help you reach your goals. All right? So let's do this together. Let's enjoy life. Let's love it. We get to live. We choose life. Enjoy your day. Own it. Talk to you soon.